Uh, we're good to go. Okay. Hi everyone, to read this another fine beautiful day. For so many years, I have always wished, like even before I got to America, I've always wanted to meet him. Uh, I don't know if now is the right time, but I'm just happy. I don't think he even needs introduction. Welcome to Toride Boss. Thank you for inviting me. Um, I'm happy to be here. Toride has been a, a beacon of hope to a lot of young people, particularly people who follow what you do. And there was a time you said, I will give it to both small man or big, big head, <laughs> big heart. <laughs> Yeah, I usually say short man, uh -huh. but big brain and big everything. Uh -huh. Like, I look at the things you've done. I don't know, some, some people might consider, consider it an, an insult or whatever, but for me, I look at the things you've done, the things you're doing, the things you plan to do. You don't need to explain to me. And I'm like, like where is it coming from with all these ideas? Well, I think um, as a creative mind and as somebody who loves doing films, as a filmmaker, as a trained film producer, uh, with five films to my credit, uh, Before the Sunrise, which is my very first film, mm -hmm. The Blues Kingdom, that I was addressing the uh, issue of the, uh, female genital mutilation, mm -hmm. and then I did the Land of Shadows in Bamenda, mm -hmm. another issue that was talking about how people, when people, somebody dies, family get to come in and then try to take away the properties of the person who passed away, then uh, being poison, trying to talk about what is happening today in some of the universities around Cameroon and Africa in general, how mm -hmm. young girls want to meet up and they want to live on the fast lane. Mm -hmm. My last film was Far, mm -hmm. uh, featuring Dakar Ebuso and Jeffrey Epule, uh, Melissa Ditamin and a host of other actors. Mm -hmm. Then I traveled to Calabar in 2013 mm -hmm. with the president of the Producers Guild at that time, Madame Angu Elizabeth. Yeah. We went to attend the African International Film Festival, AFRIF, mm -hmm. and that's where this uh, idea of uh, organizing a film festival in the Anglophone Cameroon, mm -hmm. you know, uh, there's a festival in, in, a, in Cameroon, Cameroon which is the biggest festival in the whole of Central African region. That's mm -hmm. Ecran mm -hmm. but it's in French Cameroon. So we needed something in the English Cameroon that can attract content buyers from the Anglo-Saxon distribution network and acquisition. <coughs> mm -hmm. And also look at how we can educate the young people and even the current producers mm -hmm. about copyright and, and what we can benefit in terms of uh, distribution and and networking in 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 the world today. You know the mm -hmm. world has become digitalized. That's so that's those are some of the things I've been working on over time. And we've done Camif since 2016 mm -hmm. to today. So we're doing <coughs> the 2023 edition of the Cameroon International Film Festival Camif. Wow. Mm -hmm. Now we'll go back for beginning. And All right. You did so. <laughs> you learn a big book. You know we we'll talk pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> but I will stay me for my pigeon if you feel mm -hmm. like it's English and the big book, people that know I understand that one are their own. Okay. Uh, I know so many people know you already, but for the few that might, who is Agbo Gilbert? Well, Agbo Gilbert about is uh, from my division. Mm -hmm. I'm an Ejagam guy, mm -hmm. uh, a Cameroonian by nationality and origin of Southern Cameroons. Mm -hmm. Uh, I pride myself as a Southern Cameroonian because, mm -hmm. you know, our history is beautiful. There is Southern Cameroon, there's La Republique Cameroon, mm -hmm. there's West Cameroon, there's East Cameroon, mm -hmm. you know. So I pride myself as a Southern Cameroonian. I, I was born in Tiku. Mm -hmm. I went to secondary school in Manfe. Ironically, I did technical education. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I went to Calabar. Then from Calabar, because of poverty, mm -hmm. and I could not afford neither my textbooks or my school fees, so I was mm -hmm. always sent out of out of class. So that's how I met uh, Fred, Mr. Fred Amata and mm -hmm. Rita Dominic at that time. Mr. Lou Jacobs they were shooting a movie in Calabar. Mm -hmm. So rather than go to school when I know they are going to send me away, mm -hmm. so I just go to the location and I sit there. So that's how my interest grew more, and I went to Lagos. Why in Lagos? It was not an easy task, but 
gradually and I enrolled myself into a film school, then started working in Nigeria, production assistance here, doing this here, following uh, other set people on set in different, different locations. Mm -hmm. And then I came to Cameroon <coughs> in 2005, mm -hmm. where I started my own uh, production house, <coughs> each production, and I did my first film, uh, before the sunrise, yes. Wow. Um, you've done a lot. I don't even want to start naming this or that because I might forget one or two things. Now, what is your motivation? My motivation is the environment. Everything I see around me just motivates me. And coming from a community where a lot of young people <coughs> are so endowed with talent, with creativity mm -hmm. so sometimes when I look at them and I just tell myself okay what is it that we can do to create an avenue where we all can make a career as mm -hmm. maybe filmmakers mm -hmm. as musicians mm -hmm. as fashion designers you know so with that I tend to go out mm -hmm. out sorts you know, build a network of connections. Mm -hmm. Try to learn from people who have a mastery of this business. So over time, I don't also go for people then to ask them, mm -hmm. how will I manage the one? Mm -hmm. How will be say when I get this New York Fashion Week, <coughs> when I get the Lagos Fashion Week, when I get uh, Cape Town Fashion Show, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, hi B C when I do come African International Film Festival for Nigeria, mm -hmm. when I do Durban Film Festival, when I do Sundance, when I do Toronto, hi B. Hi B C other countries that they come for Oscars, mm -hmm. that they go for B E T, mm -hmm. Cameroon they go. Mm -hmm. How one take for be part of this. Mm -hmm. So all these things that what you see I'm around now they, they motivate me mm -hmm. for one for set. If not a perfect foundation, mm -hmm. but let there be something where I believe strongly see the younger generation go do better than me. Wow. Because when you look at the young people and today they don't come for industry for film, mm -hmm. you know, you see the movies that they do, um, you know, like I, uh, when I look at the, the likes of uh, Justin, mm -hmm. you know, with uh, Hidden Dreams. Mm -hmm. I see people like Stephanie Toome with mm -hmm. uh, Saving Bango Way. I remember when I used to go make Stephanie say, I want you to be an actress. She said, no, you know, I'm doing, you know, I'm doing, you know, but today you look at people where they, 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 they not be initially believe, mm -hmm. but today they are being professionals and mm -hmm. they did even practice the profession more than even those of us who even push them for camp. But that is a, that's a beautiful part that, about that's it. That's true. Because every papa where you get picking, the hopes that the picking will prosper even better than me. Mm -hmm. So even me where, okay, I've been talks I'll be their big brother, mm -hmm. I'll be their big friend. I, 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 I'm happy when they are happy. Mm -hmm. I'm happy when they are progressing. And I think that'll be one person where it will affect for see another one be, mm -hmm. be successful. I'll be very, very happy for see people to be successful. Because if not for that, why me I will go fight for Oscars and not go put on my own film? <laughs> you understand? But I would put other people their films and well, you think Oscars. it's good? Because it's good. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, when we will be the shoot that time, some of us will be the shoot for, for, for Cam Coda then. Mm -hmm. You understand? But today, begin they shoot for Red 8K, Red K, the uh, Red Camera, mm -hmm. sorry, Black Magic, they shoot for, okay, for <laughs> Are Alexa. So when you see those kind of production that we, you see the finishing, you see the the, 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 the the work, you see the quality. Mm -hmm. You will only be as on which man, for no one appraise those kind of beautiful jobs there. Mm -hmm. For go take your job where you do a long time ago, go for go put, go put up for that kind of place. You say it's your Knowing fully where it might fail. Yeah. So, with all these things, them too, I can't realize and say, we'll get difficulties for sell the film, the world the creator. Mm -hmm. So push idea for this festival, mm -hmm. the Cameroon International Film Festival. Mm -hmm. And with that festival now, we'll try to invite people that like 
Amazon for mm -hmm. Cameroon. Because first time when you reach for Cameroon, you won't watch either Amazon mm -hmm. or Netflix. Mm -hmm. It will tell you so you're there on the wrong geographical position. That is because Cameroon be highly francophonized. Mm -hmm. You know, they go by the law of droit d'auteur. Mm -hmm. Where if you meet a politician, will tell you, oh, droit d'auteur and copyright are the same thing, but are two different things. Wow. You understand? Because droit d'auteur, mm -hmm. now a French copyright system, mm -hmm. where it be protected by francophonie and backed by the civil law. Mm -hmm. Copyright, now an Anglo Saxon copyright system. system. Will it be protected by the Commonwealth and backed by the civ uh, by the common law? Mm -hmm. So the the laws are they different? Do you understand? <clears throat> and then because of all this over francophonization of Cameroon, mm -hmm. it make a way we the produce content then. Mm -hmm. Mind you, so for the whole Central African region, mm -hmm. Gabon, Chad. Cameroon, mm -hmm. Congo, no, the, the, the Anglophone communities that generate more content mm -hmm. than all of, this all of these countries put together. Wow. But our content, most of them need to see the light <coughs> of day because the channels that they exploit this content by the content then, including the, the, the national television when I see TV, they need to mm -hmm. buy them. Wow. So we be forced to outsource elsewhere. So that's why we approach channels like Africa Magic. Mm -hmm. We approach Amazon. Mm -hmm. Now Amazon don't open the space for Wi-Fi. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Currently, I think Amazon don't open the space for for what films them. Mm -hmm. Currently, I think we get about twenty-two films mm -hmm. on Amazon Prime mm -hmm. for any person who want to watch them. I think uh, little 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 Cindy, Cindy yeah. day for day. I think saving Bango two day for day. Mm -hmm. A good time to divorce day for day. There are mm -hmm. a lot of films and that. Uh, uh, Breach of trust mm -hmm. for the ones who I feel remember the day inside uh, Amazon. Mm -hmm. Then now, when you look at also for Netflix too, don't be fortunate forget four films for Netflix. Oh. But it not be been an easy journey. Mm -hmm. You know, Netflix also be also one for give me that that opportunity. Say so maybe we two will be part of the family. Mm -hmm. But now. You have to look at Netflix is a company. Mm -hmm. They have to also make money. That's true. Same like African Magic. Mm -hmm. What is killing Cameroon that uh, most of Cameroonian films are not on African Magic like they used to mm -hmm. is because most Cameroonians don't own African Magic decoders. Okay. The African Magic that is highly exploited and watched in Cameroon by Cameroonians is pirated. Wow. And this piracy is done only in Cameroon. Oh. Where somebody will buy one decoder of DSTV mm -hmm. and put it in the back of their house, and then they move the outlet cable, they start connecting from their neighbor's houses, one house to another, and collecting two thousand or three thousand mm -hmm. at the end of the month. This now something they will not fight them all kinds of style, go right for your own day. They not they don't even show interest. Wow. Same like they will formerly do one with the canal, mm -hmm. but now you know now French uh, company. company they don't fight. If you look at you know go you know go see TV saying you know go see uh, Canal Plus you know go see all that uh, French francophone channel and for that they are but seeing them mm -hmm. because they don't fight them. You understand? Oh. So they leave this other side open. They don't care. Mm -hmm. So we not be protected. Okay. You said something about um, uh, copyright and uh, drug auteur. So uh, my question now, uh, do you think if there is a clear line between, so if like the government or I don't know whatever body is responsible come and then draw a clear line between copyright and droit d'auteur and kind of like paint a better picture between, should I say the anglophone industry and the francophone industry could be beneficial for the country as a whole? Well, I think say that one they already know. You know if you mix them. Mm -hmm. There's Atlantic Ocean, there's Pacific, uh, Pacific, Pacific Ocean. Ocean. Go for play, they meet, they need mix. They don't mix. Wow. But now oceans, mm -hmm. and all them be very, very useful to the, to, to the ecosystem, ecosystem. And they be useful to all of us. Mm -hmm. But if, if you take the two, you put them inside one bowl, one bowl they need mix. Wow. You understand? You mm -hmm. cannot mix the Francophone system and the Anglo-Saxon system. You can't mix it. It's never going to work. 
Now, the, the two can work quote a quote, mm -hmm. okay, on equal footings. Mm -hmm. What it means is, uh, if tomorrow an actor like Jeffrey Epule mm -hmm. be invited to go shoot a film mm -hmm. for French Cameroon, mm -hmm. and I'm Jeffrey Wade, he talk French fine, mm -hmm. he'll be able to actually articulate French and speak French and deliver his character, mm -hmm. right? Then, if you invite also an actress like Lucy Member who can express herself properly in mm -hmm. English, she will come to the Anglo-Saxon system mm -hmm. and do a movie with the brother them from Southern Cameroon mm -hmm. and no problem. We are still Cameroonians. Mm -hmm. Okay. By trying to create this, this Cameroon way, the one just fuse everything. Now he pull for this Creso, the Creso. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, now who the benefit? Now the French Cameroon people, the benefit. Mm -hmm. We need the benefit, no nothing. Mm -hmm. You understand? So that is where we need for correct those mm -hmm. things. Then. Mm -hmm. And even when we'll be shown you know, minister, minister talk about the need for create uh, a federation, mm -hmm. a Cameroon film federation. Mm -hmm. I, for one, have been minister saying a good idea. Because honestly, not a good idea. We need a, we need a, 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 a platform where if you bring both filmmakers of La Republic du Cameroon origin and filmmakers from the Southern Cameroon origin, mm -hmm. where they will get their specificities, they get their linguistics, mm -hmm. they get their copyright all mm -hmm. separated, but they are on the same board. Mm -hmm. Where it means if French Cameroon people will send five people, mm -hmm. We for Southern Cameroon send five people. Mm -hmm. They come for the, and these are all citizens of Cameroon, mm -hmm. and they will get ten members of the executive board mm -hmm. of the Cameroon film industry. Mm -hmm. From these ten people, they will vote now who will become the chairperson, the mm -hmm. vice chairperson, and then they will work collectively for protect all the two uh, uh, sectors yeah. without giving the other one uh, an upper hand mm -hmm. over the other one because we all need for any living as That's filmmakers true. you understand mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so those are some of the the things that we some of us and two also 10 minutes are saying a good idea but now which do we we, we do propose mm -hmm. and hopefully they will feed they will feed follow the advice mm -hmm. because that's the only thing that will work any other thing other than that is not going to work Wow. Now, um, people like me, I, I don't know, I admire you for everything you do. I don't know, maybe I get my own eye with the way where they see them. For people who don't know, what do you think is your role in the industry, not just the movie industry? What do you think is your role as age, Agbo Gibe Ebud? What do you think is your role uh, <clears throat> in the industry right now? Well, I'll be just one person, though. Mm -hmm. So, we don't always work in a collective effort. Mm -hmm. And not think say there has always <clears throat> been me. Mm -hmm. Because when you see me for front, mm -hmm. behind me you get Mr. Billy Bomb mm -hmm. Behind Mr. Billy Bomb mm -hmm. you get uh, Mr. Evie Stangway. Mm -hmm. Behind Mr. Evie Stangway, you get Mola Palmas. Mm -hmm. Behind Mola Palmas, so there's a chain of people mm -hmm. with ideas, mm -hmm. with Sometimes three o'clock for night you call Mr. Anori Winnebom, bro. We need to do this. Mm -hmm. Is she done? He writes. He so he makes suggestion. Mm -hmm. Now teamwork. Okay. I bought better but not just an errand person for go for front. Okay. But the machine way they behind. Mm -hmm. Bro, you you just look all of this work now because I stand on top giants. Mm -hmm. So these giants and they they, they, they they lift me to mm -hmm. actually move, get to the goal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because when you're working with minds like Kanyan Kwain, Agbo Obed, Brenda Elonwe, Naibi, the board chair for the Cameroon film industry, mm -hmm. Mr. Musin Derek, the president of the Directors Guild, mm -hmm. Mr. Takon Fred, the president of the Actors Guild, mm -hmm. Mr. Yimba Emil, when I be president for Technician Guild, mm -hmm. you know fit for short. You must come back with result. Wow. And when you believe, say, this is the right part, and a part where it will create more opportunities for other young Cameroonians. Mm -hmm. You know, feel relent. So me as Agbo Gilbert, 
Abi once be appointed by the producers guild to represent them for the board of CFI, that's the Camaro Film Industry, mm -hmm. and I was assigned the position of the public relation officer. Mm -hmm. I do my own work that time as a public relation officer. That was <clears> when <throat> I approached Universal Pictures, mm -hmm. Lionsgate, mm -hmm. uh, Oscars, uh, Golden Globes, mm -hmm. uh, Toronto Film Festival, Cannes Film Festival. In 2014, we'll get the first pavilion. Mm -hmm for Cannes International Film Festival. Mm -hmm. That was during my reign as a public relation officer. Mm -hmm. You understand? Ma, now, the Producers Guild don't move me from that position. They don't put somebody else. Mm -hmm. Okay. They don't assign me a new responsibility as the founder, at the same time, the CEO of the Cameroon International Film Festival. Mm -hmm. When my responsibility too for that side will don't pass down, nobody will yeah, and two for somebody no, no, else. No, no, no. Yes, sir. And a lot of people think that Camif is my property. No, Camif is the property of the Cameroon film industry. Wow. I am just the CEO, mm -hmm. the chief executive officer. Mm -hmm. Yes, I be among the people the way they found this initiative. Mm -hmm. But I do not own Camif. Mm -hmm. So, Camif is a collective effort of people where they get a particular target. With Camif, we attract okay. Netflix. Mm -hmm. With Camif, we attract Africa Magic, mm -hmm. Amazon. This is collective work. Now, now my advice is, boss, <laughs> you are too, too big. I'm not even sure the way to explain it now for you. Explain one tenth of how I feel about you. You are too, too big. And if you can do us a favor, we know you, not just me, so many other people. We sit and we talk about you, what you're doing for the industry, what you plan to. We're not there for your head, but when you, we see your moves, we know see you get the, not just <clears throat> not just the film industry, you have our community at heart. Please stay away from any person where they distract you. We know so many people here, they feel like they will use your name for look, they are shine. So many people here, they feel like when they talk this or that about you, maybe if you respond, it will create buzz for them and all that. Would they beg you and I beg you, stay away from that people then. You know, they, they, um, there was a time, right? Mm -hmm. My one of one of the one of the kindest people I ever get the opportunity for their life for me mm -hmm. and spend some time with was Chadwick Bosman mm -hmm. of the Black Panther. Mm -hmm. And even during the last days away with the sick, mm -hmm. you could see nothing in him but pure love and kindness. And even when it would be wearing some guy insulting, he still showed the person love. Don't bother about me. Mm -hmm. It's not today that people have been attacking me as a person. Mm -hmm. But this individual has already attacked me as a person. They get a responsibility for maybe make their findings mm -hmm. and then maybe we'll get a conversation. Mm -hmm. But if they choose for judge, then they crucify me. It's, it's part of life. Nobody will read our Bible say Jesus Christ come here, he do not look good. But they see him. <laughs> so <laughs> Amen uh, So we don't see can kind thing that happen. For the life where you even take some man say bring him for your house. Na eat on one. Okay, you. But at the end of the day, for the aspect for showbiz, mm -hmm. all these people they be important. Mm -hmm. The one day that they criticize you, mm -hmm. the one day that they celebrate you, mm -hmm. the one day that they support you. Mm -hmm. Everybody gets your own role where they play. Oh. If somebody talks a he one Cush me for internet. He did play his own role. At least he did keep some other people them entertained. Entertain. Because I get people then too where they look me to say, why did short man they so? Why not supposed to they so? Mm -hmm. Or how would he do for touch mm -hmm. some part where if he make the man make it feel bad? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. As you they hear you this, you the happy say okay. I did, I did for your corner with mm -hmm. a smile. Mm -hmm. There are some people who are also very, very much expecting that I should cry because it makes them happy. Mm -hmm. So you can't take away those things from people. These are elements of life that makes what we consider today as the universe. Night 
is as necessary as they. Wow. Now, uh, Kamif, it's huge already, it's big, but for the few way maybe they never really follow. What is Kamif all about? Um, Kamif is the Cameroon International Film Festival. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an initiative that was birthed in 2016 by a group of filmmakers, uh, championed by Madame Angu Elizabeth, who was the uh, president of the Producers Guild at that time. Mm -hmm. So we traveled to Calabar. It was while in Calabar that we're having a conversation and the engagement of the, the delegation that mm -hmm. left Cameroon for, for Calabar, for the African International Film Festival, you know, was loved by everybody who was there. Then now they asked us, um, why can we not create something like this in Cameroon? This question was posed by Ramsey Noir. Mm -hmm. and, and Ramsey, I told Ramsey, I, I, I have no idea what it would take to organize a film festival. Then Ramsey talks to me, if you choose to organize this festival, I will be there every year for support the festival. Wow. And then Madame Wangimba Uzo, mm -hmm. who was the uh, head of uh, uh, MNET West Africa, mm -hmm. she said Africa Magic will support you. <laughs> Today she's the head of uh, Amazon Original Africa, oh. so that's how we manage mm -hmm. without sponsors. We managed to pull the Camif 2016. Then Di Joe Camif 2016 nomination party. Mm -hmm. Then Di Joe came in. Ramsey flew in. Mm -hmm. We had a meeting with D.I. Joe in uh, Douala, Madame uh, Felicité, mm -hmm. fell in love with the project. And then we went to MTN. We met the CEO of MTN at that time. She was to say, okay, she wants to support it. So we focus our energy more on master classes and, and, and screenings. Mm -hmm. At the end of the festival, which is a six day period, mm -hmm. we recognize people or appreciate people with our own award categories and award trophies. So we have categories in filmmaking of, of all, um, all steps of filmmaking, mm -hmm. acting, directing. Uh, this year we've added uh, screenplay and cinematography, mm -hmm. you know, and then online content creation. So for people who are doing skits online, we are mm -hmm. going to also be recognizing them. It's going to be more of a viewer choice thing. Mm -hmm. So we, we wanted a platform where we can attract content buyers from across the world to come to our festival mm -hmm. and meet young and old Cameroonians who are doing marvelous job in filmmaking. And I think over time, God has blessed us with films on Amazon, Netflix, Africa Magic, and other platforms. So we are looking at the Cameroon International Film Festival 2023 edition, which is going to start from the 24th mm -hmm. of April to the 29th at the uh, Boya Mountain Hotel mm -hmm. and the W Cinema My 16. Mm -hmm. So we are going to have Mr. Andori Winningbaum, who is always going to be there to offer active masterclass. Mr. Renata is going to come with uh, Takom Delvis for Cinematography Masterclass. Mr. Niba Lawrence is going to also try to come up with some of his partners for the Director's Masterclass. Mr. Kanyan Kwain and uh, Madame Itami Delphine are always there for the Script Writing Masterclass. Mm -hmm. So we already have this team work that everybody has a responsibility and everybody as of now is thinking they are processing of what they want to do better than last year. So we're always trying to improve. And we are a glamour festival, so we have a, we, we, we emphasize on our dress code. Mm -hmm. If you're not properly dressed for a particular night, we can't even allow you access it to I the usually home. drive someone last time. <laughs> uh, drive some person <laughs> not be the right way for put them. I think, say, I will meet uh, my brother Mm -hmm. uh, Lorenzo mm -hmm. and I tell you, say, hey Lorenzo, who's are you come on? He said, 
No, you just can't have the closing ceremony. I say, but you for follow the dress code. Mm -hmm. It's going to be the dress code. I say, look at me. That's the dress code. Mm -hmm. Or look at him. That's the dress code. He said, okay, man, go change. He go so change. he go change. He come back. But the story why here and I say I drive Lorenzo for event. But people not see people forget what say Lorenzo be snap a group picture with Valeria Yena and mm -hmm. other people then. But these same people then, if uh, 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 Grand Lorenzo be enter with his short trousers away, be come with them. Mm -hmm. Now then, for course, they can miss a pass. Mm -hmm. So I also no understand why there's so much bitterness mm -hmm. where everything way you try for do them. Mm -hmm. Now the young ones, them. Now this, you, sometimes you look at the, the young, the people there, they write, mm -hmm. they, those insult them. Now, now your younger brother, then, as a small picking. I them. feel like they just seek for attention. No, I think this thing don't <laughs> intensify now after the crisis where you don't, the, the useless war where you go on for our community. Mm -hmm. You don't create some degree of bitterness, hatred, vex mm -hmm. for our young people. They are hard. And unfortunately, some people they use up from that, mm -hmm. and then they defend this bitterness, this hate, for make themselves relevant and important. But it's all right, you know. Now part of showbiz, mm -hmm. you know, if people have to air their views and respect people's opinion. And you don't expect me for go everywhere, go tell everybody. So what you're saying is Th not correct. That's true. But if somebody inbox me or ask me a question, I will, I will answer. I respond to all my messages on all my social media handles or, or phone calls. I talk to everybody. Wow. That one, I feel I test you. <laughs> uh, one of the greatest things that ever happened for me, I don't always put, put in my own small effort, do this and do that. You never ever believe it's the best thing that ever happened for me for the industry. Which for some years now, not the one thing that way it make me. It doesn't matter how much I'm investing. I feel like I want to do this. I remember the day. I don't know if you called or you text me from nowhere. From nowhere, you just called and you text like, "Hey, uh, three day. I don't see you. You do am with the see you. do am just continue for do, continue for push, continue for continue." Like after that call, I never if you believe myself. I was like, I never believe in I go give it. Don't notice you, you do some small thing. And that's who you are. Just uh the only two I'm talking about, I don't even say I don't even think I can say continue to do that mm -hmm. because that's part of you. I feel like it's a lifestyle for you. What do you think is the future for our industry? Not just the movie, but the industry as a whole. The young people, the way they will come after we mm -hmm. they will they will do marvelous things. Wow. You know, like today when you sit. You watch MC Dibenja with Chat Center. You watch Karo and Kopis, mm -hmm. Godi Fongwa, mm -hmm. and Auntie Felicia. Mm -hmm. And then you come now, you start to realize other people, the way that they come for the industry, mm -hmm. like the young actors. Mm -hmm. Some of them now, they don't even come up with ideas on how they put their own resources together for produce films. Oh. without depending on people to come in mm -hmm. as executive producers. So the young people them with technology for their hand mm -hmm. and with the um, availability of, of uh, uh, ingenuity mm -hmm. and, and creativity, mm -hmm. you know, will it be embedded in them? Trust me, even with their cell phones and the little things they do, the, the future of the entertainment sector for mm -hmm. Cameroon, now you will save Cameroon. Because the only way you employ Cameroon and that's on a Cameroon government, mm -hmm. and how many jobs they did the Cameroon government, if they apart from, say, majority now say you go police or you go gendarme or you, you go teach. army or you go teach. But since all man no one go farm, like mm -hmm. some of us, the world on the, you go on a cocoa <laughs> farm, then, the entertainment industry, Go rescue Cameroon from a dark cloud of unemployment, the pain we people will go through. So these people, these young minds, them, they will blow my mind. And even in the music sector, mm -hmm. most of them now, they the one engage into Afro fusion, mm -hmm. Afro pop. Mm -hmm. 
Afro dance hall. Mm -hmm. You know, even though some people say, Mere go back to sing Makusa. Mm -hmm. But it's not bad too for some men not sing Makusa. Makusa too, then for a particular class. Yeah. They like how we we'll go party too for here. Mm -hmm. Where you play Makusa, you see some people, some mm -hmm. particular group of people, and they go stand. Mm -hmm. They do the they dance with the cry say, Oh, back in the days. <laughs> <laughs> But for some particular generation, now that Afro fusion, yeah. now ye they move their mind. And gradually, the world has become a global village. Mm -hmm. In America, mm -hmm. just like in Asia, just like in Europe, Afro beat has taken the world like a raining fire. Mm -hmm. Everybody, Oyibo Demo, mm -hmm. all man for America, they One dance Afro beat. So they are mixing in now with a little bit of pop, a little mm -hmm. bit of swag here mm -hmm. and there. And then somebody go just walk off some corner, say, No, we are not sing that one. We mm -hmm. can't sing that Njang. <laughs> Njang na say me wa go but me da mo go dance mbo. Yep. Uh huh. When but then go sing for me for Manu Day. Mm -hmm. How we go dance that one? Mm -hmm. But. For some more exploiter out there to the world, made mm -hmm. a city so okay, Cameroonians until they do something in mm -hmm. that line, mm -hmm. the younger generation will perfect them. I believe in them. Wow. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, let's talk a little bit about our no neighbors. Sorry, I was going to say noise. That's mm -hmm. so wrong. Our neighbors, uh, Nigeria. Um, there's a ban on uh, the use of foreign models in voiceover artists on the Nigerian advertising. Let me just see media. Can you just explain to us what that is all about? It's not a bad thing, though. Mm -hmm. You know, in America, as a nation, for even Indians who are living in America, you have Verizon or Direct TV. I don't know which one you have in your house. Mm -hmm. But you can watch so many channels, you know, watch an Indian channel. Mm -hmm. Because the Americans, for them to put that on their bouquet, mm -hmm. they have to pay royalties to the Indians. Mm -hmm. So now for Indians who want those particular channels added to their bouquet, they have extra money that they pay. Mm -hmm. You understand? Okay. Now, in advertisement mm -hmm. in America, when they manufacture a car in America, those cars are consumed by Americans. Mm -hmm. So Americans look for people who are in America, who are credible, who have the right following, mm -hmm. who have integrity for them to use them to do their promo. Mm -hmm. You cannot tell maybe uh, uh, Chrysler or Tesla who they should use, but they have their own mm -hmm. uh, structure that they will use. Okay, now, coming to Nigeria, Nigeria says, we are consuming a lot of Pepsi mm -hmm. and Coca-Cola. Mm -hmm. Despite the fact that Coca-Cola head office is in Atlanta and mm -hmm. South Africa, mm -hmm. the commercial office is in Nairobi. So when they want to shoot their advert, they shoot their advert based on a global scale. Mm -hmm. That same advert is going to run in all countries across the world. Mm -hmm. But now Nigeria say, okay, look, we want to shoot you those adverts using our own artists, mm -hmm. socialites, and influencers. influencers. Give us the contract. Let us shoot you the advert. Mm -hmm. Because we cannot be consuming, but you're bringing somebody else. This is something we also did mm -hmm. in Cameroon. We did approach Minister Isa Choroma. Mm -hmm. We presented our case, mm -hmm. Mr. Minister, all these companies, they need to be using Cameroonians, influencers, and artists for them. Sure. Fortunately for us, when this, when Mr. Isa Choroma, it was there. Mr. Isa Choroma, Choroma made a phone call while we were still there. Mm -hmm. Called his uh, Secretary General and his, uh, they call it in French, DAG, mm -hmm. to come and invited, said they should invite all these companies, their CEOs, let them come. They talk. And you saw the result with Stan Lieno coming out of Made in Black mm -hmm. and uh, Valeria Yena also. Mm -hmm. And Stanley had this big billboard when you're going towards Bonaberry. Mm -hmm. 
You know, you come to Yaoundé, there was this building that Stanley covered the whole building. And then, it was at that time that Stanley came back from South Africa with mm. the price of... Mama. Uh, 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 best, uh, best new act for MTV. MTV. He came home with Afrima. You know, everywhere was, was Stanley. Mm -hmm. So, they wanted to use that also. Mm. If you go to Cameroon today, you'll see most billboards, MTN, they are using more of Cameroonians. Mm -hmm. So in what Nigeria is doing, we had already had that approach in Cameroon. Maybe we didn't go writing letters because there is no structure mm -hmm. like what Nigeria has, a, a, a group of people, an association. Mm -hmm. That association now is writing mm -hmm. to actually stop the, the pollution of the Nigerian airspace with adverts from other people. But are you saying that that has stopped in Cameroon? No. Go to opposite Orange. You see DJ Drogba standing there mm -hmm. advertising uh, a betting game. Mm -hmm. You know, so for me, it's not a bad thing to want to project your own. Mm -hmm. It's not a bad thing to want to protect your own. It's not a bad thing. But this com these are companies that are also expecting to make money with your presence as an ambassador. Mm -hmm. So if you have the right following, you have the right numbers. Mm -hmm. Of course, they'll want to work with you. It's business. It's win-win. Sure. Yeah, don't force somebody because you're being too emotional. Mm -hmm. Oh, they must do Cameroonians. They must use Cameroonians. What are you giving back to this company? Can your presence in that poster mm -hmm. motivate other Cameroonians to want to drink that bottle of water, drink that bottle of beer, buy that chocolate, buy mm -hmm. that bonbon, buy that textbook? Mm -hmm. Remember when we were in primary school, the, so Ben, you actually come with magazine for school. Yeah. You they buy each page 25, yeah. 25, <laughs> for them to cover your book. <laughs> so you, if you choose on, on page when a Jackie Shende for day, yeah. you go pay more. Yeah. Or John Rambo. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you have to be marketable mm -hmm. for you to be an ambassador to a particular brand. So what Nigerians are doing, they believe that they have those people. Mm -hmm. They have their numbers. Mm -hmm. So, don't pollute our space with South Africans or British or mm, these. Americans yes. or whatever. Let us manage our space. If they can do that, it's, it's not a bad idea for me. Yeah. We've wow. already done that in Cameroon anyway. Wow. Mm -hmm. Boss, anything that we, you feel so big of a talk about, I want to bring her up. Yes, yeah, so, yeah. We'll get a lot of things that we we'll talk about. <laughs> oh, never talk. Oh, never talk. Yes. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we'll get up. Um, I think say one of the things the way me and the pray make it happen. Mm -hmm. Now say me to read day begin the can Cameroon once in a while. I don't know. Yes, <laughs> me to read day can Cameroon once in a while. A lot of people they follow to read day, no. but now that all man to go get visa for come America, America. and she don't with you for the a fine office. Me to read day can Cameroon, can talk with other people, eh? People they live for Cameroon the way they do a lot of things there. Go visit my my good friend Alene Menged. Mm -hmm. Enter for your kitchen. Mm -hmm. Show that he chop the cooker. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Even Sparko and my classmate. Go mm -hmm. me show you how he cook that he turning cocoa too. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know. <laughs> All these Bameta and Ngi people, them. Mm -hmm. they're all entering all the cook shop. So bring all them. <laughs> Auntie Felicia, them. All that people, yeah. them. Yeah, but uh, Toride, thank you very much for having me. You know, I'm always happy to to be around i think um one of the things that are bothering me and one of the things that i pray keep praying to god every day is for the end of the anglophone crisis mm -hmm. and i think uh, whatever your to really can can do to contribute mm -hmm. and add a voice to our call to the hashtag end anglophone crisis mm -hmm. would appreciate it thank you very much for having me but i think i should thank you you mm -hmm. don't know how happy you make me be today uh, <laughs> Any day, any time to read this home. If there's anything you feel like we can do to continue to bless our community. Come for Kamif. No, definitely. Come I, for Kamif. I don't already tell you how uh, when the child we'll was take him for accommodation. Come for Kamif. Okay. Well, <laughs> <don't hear. laughs> come for Kamif. Even before, no, but even before come that, for like, I, we're setting up something in Boya. Mm -hmm. And as I don't already share the idea with you, I'm glad to you even support the idea. And um, you probably have a push, push, push for the idea. 
I'm always I'm always willing to assist. Oh, you know, really? come 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 home, and uh, because if I'm here, so you can see and evaluate which you want to try for do, do. Mm -hmm. and then before you do them, okay. and then also may God bless you for get person we he go one work with you selflessly. Mm -hmm. The problem we get for Cameroon now, yeah. now the spirit of entitlement. Thank you. When somebody believes he, you must do one for you, oui. uh -huh. and if you not do one for you. He did ready for talking it way if he talk him, wow. you know, without thinking about the repercussion. And because he mob this so, if the way we take talk him, mm -hmm. you know, if he take him back, That's which true. you don't talk and don't really come on. The destruction where you make him verbally, you don't really make him, you don't really enter another man in here. Mm -hmm. But it don't become too common today, you know, so bad. For we, for the eat, complain, complain, complain for me. You know, I mean, I said, more job continue to do the work we do and we'll build the collaboration as thought, uh, 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 three days so. Mm -hmm. We'll build collaboration, we'll talk with people there, they'll be open for say, make we all move forward. We'll mm -hmm. move forward. Congratulations. You do a very fantastic job. Thank wow. you very much. Wow. Because uh, you don't stay. Yep. If, if you don't want to give up, if you don't give up. <laughs> <laughs> Now, so we don't give up their call, mm. say, nah, continue. <laughs> you know, now so we too, now so we too, too, need to give up. Mm -hmm. You know, no matter how some, no, no even bother. Mm -hmm. You understand? They blog as when they blog good, mm -hmm. you shake your head. They yeah. blog bad, you shake your mm -hmm. head. You understand? Mm -hmm. All them, they any money play, mm -hmm. uh -huh. so, mm -hmm. more thank God say, he give me life. Mm -hmm. More thank God say, of it, be healthy. Mm -hmm. For feed, share our experience. And maybe young people then too, they also pick one or two good things from which we will try to put them out there. The part where they don't understand, they, they are free to ask questions. You know, for me, you can actually come to me and say, hey, uh, Gilbert, this is something I want to know. How do I go about it? What can you advise me? If you send me a message on Facebook, I will respond to you. Okay? I will never ignore anybody. Even those ones, the way they make me unhappy, I will still respond to them. No. If you want us to have a civil conversation, we'll have it. If you want us to go primitive, we can also do that. Humility, Mr. Humble. You <laughs> go on the side. We go G G T H S Kumbai. I be no. So Kumba must be inside the blood for some. <laughs> Guys. Spark on my childhood friend. Wow. Yes. The only two I chose was Spark on. I say, you know, Spark will come for Boya. Where Spark will be come for? When I be the go? When I be used to go man? Because I come Cameroon, I stay in a manfi. Mm -hmm. So whenever one pass or Kumba, they always see Spark on the stand out story. You know, but as he come Boya, he goes that big to some other guy, Bamingi brother. You know, Spark on just had the do na the thing the way me and Eddie understand. So if you waste yourself for yourself, why even what say, bro how? He does say he get he get difficulties, <laughs> but you know those things that don't change because definitely uh, darkness will always run away when light comes. Come. So the day where the light will touch sparkle, he said we can't say that my brother is my huggy. Yep. You understand? Even what we do, sim first, he become. Mm -hmm. You know, even though he come, he come for the peace concert. Mm -hmm. Babe, one can at time we rain, we don't start fall. Mm -hmm. We almost everybody don't finish perform. So. He's a, he's a, he's a cool, he's a, he's a nice guy. He has always been very passionate about comedy mm -hmm. with Zachary, mm -hmm. you know, and we all choose our part. Mm -hmm. All we will study electricity. Mm -hmm. So at that time, we think so we'll become electrical engineer. <laughs> uh, today, me had to produce film, he did do comedy, comedy, yeah. comedy and, in, and then he did do stand-up comedy, and mm -hmm. at the same time, he did say Tony Coco. So <laughs> <laughs> me had to do film, but at the same time, he did Coco Farm. So anybody oh, Guys, if part, you think about. this was not interesting, mm -hmm. then think again. Uh, uh, and... Boss, thank you very much for everything. Now, the small story that I've got about today, if you have any questions, any concerns, just let us know. Comment section or inbox or anything.